Hello everyone, it's Strawberry Ellie here and thank you so much for joining me in another video. As you might know, I'm in Thailand right now and it's actually not the first time that I'm here. I visited Thailand five times already and over the past two years, I think I've gained quite a bit of experience and I also learned a lot and I definitely know more than I knew before I visited Thailand the first time. And that's why I wanna make this video. I wanna share some maybe helpful tips and hacks with you that you can use next time you go to Thailand, maybe for the first time or for the second time or third time, or when you even go to a completely different country to make your trip to a much better experience. So I hope you are gonna enjoy this video and without further ado, I'd say let's get started. One thing you should know about Thailand before you come here is that it has two main seasons. So it has the kind of summer season, I guess, and the winter season. So the summer season is where we are at right now and that goes from March till October. And then there is the winter season, which goes from November till March. And the summer season, the one that we are in right now is the rainy season and it's really humid and hot here and it also rains a lot that's why it's called the rainy season and the dry season which is in the winter time it's more drier there it's still pretty hot but it cools down in the evenings and it's also called the high season so a lot more people visit Thailand during that time I guess they don't like the rain that much and everything is gonna be a little bit more expensive so just keep that in mind before you book your flight to Thailand in what season you're in right now when you consider traveling during that time of the year when it rains a lot you might be prepared for that so what I do is I pick up a raincoat so I just got this raincoat simply from 7-eleven this raincoat was just 29 baht which is super cheap and as I said you can get just get it at 7-eleven for example and I put it in my backpack so I'm always prepared for the rain so I'm not getting wet and I also have a rain cover for my backpack and I also always make sure to carry a ziploc bag with me to put my wallet and also my phone in there so I always have these things in my backpack with me to be prepared for the rain during the month of February, March and April, they have a tradition that they're practicing here and that is the burning season. Now the burning season is at the end of the dry season and it actually stops with the rainy season, so with the first rain. And what they're doing here is they're burning the rice fields and they're also burning the trash. So what that means for us and for the environment is that there's a lot of pollution and smog in the air. So they do that as I said February, March and April and more in the northern part of Thailand. And I've been here before when the burning season was just about to end and it was really difficult to spend time outside and be outside. So what I did then when I spent time here, I just bought a mask. I just got one from an organic shop which was a little bit more expensive but it had a filter in it which I think is really important because it filters some of the pollutions out obviously it's not going to be perfect overall you might want to consider just staying inside more don't be outside in traffic too much because as I said the pollution and smog is just really bad Another small thing I always pick up when I'm here and I promise this is not sponsored from 7-Eleven but honestly 7-Eleven is such a good convenience store that has just so many small things you might need in your day-to-day -day life. So what I did when I came here I just got a small sewing kit. My shorts just ripped and I can just fix them with this sewing kit. So it definitely works out. It's super small and super handy and has everything you need. So you take that out and as you can see there's some yarn in there and there's also a small pair of scissors and some tweezers and there's also some needles in here as you can see so it has everything you need and it was basically the 35 baht which is just under a dollar which I think is yeah just a great price for something such small and neat and you definitely need just in case I guess something happens. 
Depending on your budget, you have the options of either going out a lot or just preparing your own food. Now, if you prepare your own food, you might want to pick up a few essentials, a small stove top or a blender or anything like that. You get that at every just Tesco, convenience shop, electronic shop. They're not that expensive and you can also sell them afterwards if you don't need them anymore. And a few essentials I always have with me in case I want to eat something on the go as well or cut something up is a knife that always comes handy also if you want to prepare your food at home and then a spoon pair of chopsticks and a fork and I also just bought a peeler when I came here which was just 35 baht I just got it at the local market and that way I can just peel all my vegetables because they use pesticides on their produce and things like cucumbers and carrots I just like to peel and things like greens and tomatoes I buy organic and pesticides free so I'm on the safe side and then I also have here a bowl which I picked up which was like 20 baht I think and then also a Tupperware container so for example you can store your food in there once you cooked it or you prepare something and then put it in the fridge but obviously you can eat out as well it is not that expensive here they have a lot of local Thai food just basically everywhere around the city pad thai and spring rolls and any kind of noodle or rice dishes one scoop of just white rice along the street is just five bar i think you get just food everywhere you go. I guess it just depends on dietary choices, maybe you have allergies or you don't like to eat certain things and you personally just choose to prepare your own food at your own place, you save money and you know what's in it. Speaking of picking up your own food at the market, you might also want to consider getting your own produce back. And I just have this backpack with me which folds up really small so I can take it everywhere I want to. It's super light and easy to take with you. And I got that before I left to travel, but I also picked up another just tote bag when I came here, just to avoid getting so many plastic bags. If you want to live a little bit more eco-friendly here in Thailand, you might want to consider getting one of these big water jugs, which I know it is still plastic, but the good thing with these is that you can just refill them at the water stations that are all around the city. Get one of these big water jugs, as I said, and you fill them up completely for just five baht. And then you have drinking water without picking up these small water bottles you get along the street. And I think, personally, I think you save a lot of plastic bottles when you get just one big container, which you can refill as often as you want. And what we did also, we got some small water bottles and we always refill them when we are out and about or when we are at home. We refill them obviously from these water jugs and we use one of these just funnels we got at the market and this one was just 20 baht and that way we always have drinking water on hand and we don't have to keep getting plastic bottles and I think it's a better way for the environment. Personally, I would consider myself a slow traveler and what that means is that I'm not hopping around from place to place seeing as many places as I can. If I get to a place, I like to kind of settle in, get into a routine, see the day-to-day -day life of the place I'm staying at and just stay for around one or two months. And the way we are doing it, my boyfriend and I, we just rent an apartment for around one or two months depending on the time we are staying here. And it also works out way cheaper than, for example, staying in a hotel or even a guest house. And also the plus with that is that you kind of live in an area where just the locals live as well. So for example, the apartment complex we are staying in right now, the people that live here are just Thai people. They live on a daily basis in these apartments and that way I feel like I just experience the culture so much more and I see how the people actually live here. And also the prices from the apartments are not that expensive. We got a one bedroom apartment which ha also has a small bathroom and we also have air conditioning if we want to use it. And 
it costs 6,000 baht a month and you also pay your bills at the end of the month so that includes your electricity bills and also just your water I think honestly it's great if you want to stay at a location for a longer period of time because that saves you up money and as I said you experience it how the locals actually live in these apartments so if you're a backpacker or traveler already, you might already have that in your backpack anyways. And what I'm talking about is Dr. Bonus. Now, I talked about Dr. Bonus in a lot of previous videos before because I think it's just really great. I call it just my magical soap because I use it for so many different things. It is just a mixture of essential oils. It has no chemicals in it and it's not tested on animals. It's really great for the environment because it doesn't have any toxins in it and I personally just use it as a soap, you can use it as a shower gel or as a shampoo and you can also do your laundry with it and that's the whole point of this life pack I guess because if you just want to do your laundry at your place you can just use Dr. Bonner. But other than that as I said there's plenty of laundry places around the city it's around 40 baht per kilo but if you just want to wash your clothes at home you want to save up money or be a bit more eco-friendly then definitely use Dr. Bonner's. I have quite a small backpack and there's not that much space for anything else and I don't want to carry any extra stuff with me. But I also really love reading. Now what I'm doing if when I get to a place here in Thailand, I just go to a local bookshop. Now I did that and there's actually a lot around, especially here in the city in Chiang Mai, they have a lot of used bookshops and I got this book, The Alchemist, and it's been really good. I love reading it so far. And once I'm done with it, I can just bring it back to that bookshop and I get half my money back. That way I think it's just so much better for the environment. You're still able to read a lot of books when you're traveling, but you don't have to buy a new book every time you go somewhere and then have to think about how you get rid of it again. Go there, get a new book, and yeah, just read as much as you like. The last thing I want to say in terms of experience the culture a bit more whenever you get to a new country is to just learn a little bit of their native language. And here it is Thai obviously and what I've experienced if I can just say a few words of Thai for example if I can say hello or thank you or how are you or how much is this or that for example when you go to a local market that always brings a smile on their face. It just shows that you are open-minded and that you want to learn, that you want to learn a bit more about their culture, the way they're living and also understanding a bit of their language. For now, definitely hello is Sawarika and if you're a male you say Sawarikap and thank you is Kapunka or Kapunkap and for example when you go to a market you say Ni Taureka or Ni Taureka and things like that you can just pick up and you can just easily learn and that way you just communicate with the people so much better and that is actually the last tip i wanted to share with you in this video i hope there were some helpful tips and hacks there for you that make your next trip maybe to a much better experience but if you have any more tips or experiences or anything you want to share just leave that down in the comments below i would just love to hear from you guys and overall i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you have amazing travels and yeah i see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>